ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Rush, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Quicksilver 855 Weekend Centenary Edition. She's powered by a Mercury Mercruiser turbo diesel engine. Has all the bells and whistles that you need to complete a successful weekend out on the water. Loads of upgrades, a fabulous hull wrap, all of which I'll come on to in just a moment. Now the current over, owner who's selling her is doing so because he is trading up in size to a Bavaria S33. The boat was sold and supplied by us, brand new. And the one thing about her, she has really, really been cared for like a member of the family. So let's start here with this fabulous two-tone hull wrap. So Marine Seal Scotland in-house wrap boats Quicksilver boats will be released at the Centenary Edition and that gives you the fabulous grey hull wrap but also what the owner has done is he's added this fabulous, it's called Galaxy Black custom hull wrap just to give you that two tone difference and in the sun it looks absolutely fantastic you can see he's got all the fenders are embroidered to match with the boat's name, Paw Patrol At the back here we've got this extended swim platform with flexi teak. All of the covers can roll up and off. What we'll do is we'll take a little look on board and run through our features. So what I've done is I've opened up the aft canopy, I've unzipped it, and that really transforms this into an open aired space. It blends outside living with inside, but what we can do is you know you can see there that when all the sides are off, it just really, really means that you've got definitive lines between living inside versus living out of the back here. Now, there are a number of different settings that you can have this. What you can do is you can move that all the way back. You can also drop in a table. You can put a filler cushion there to turn that into a huge sunbathing area. I'll show you a number of the different options that are available. Now, once we drop the table in, you can imagine sitting here having a spot of dinner like you would probably do on a night like this with your friends, with your family you also do have the protection of the sun awning here and again you can take everything off and really transform this into an al fresco dining area should you want to what we can do is we can drop the table down and we can turn this into a huge sunbathing area as well I'll show you that now you've got a great area where you can get all the family around you can watch the kids swimming in the water if they're brave enough and when they do come back out well you've got a transom shower right here to hose them off after they've been in. All of this, marine vinyl, so you can use that same transom shower, wash it all down, the deck is self-draining, it'll discharge out over the side. What we'll do next, let's get this back up into the original setting to maximise the floor space, and then we'll show you around the rest of the boat. Lovely. What you can do, if you're sitting out here at night time, you do have these blue LED mood lightings, well, mood lights, and they may not look like a lot now, but at night time, wow, what a difference they make. They really, really set the ambience well. These three doors, that's what makes this Quicksilver 855 as popular as it is. Completely enclosable up front to the elements outside. With the northern winters that we get, it's a must have, let's be honest. So as we traverse in. Now the one thing that really, really stands out is the newness of this boat. I'm sure it's clear as day for everyone to see that it's in pristine condition. It looks like it is fresh out of the factory. Now this would have been one of the last ever 855s that was built before it was morphed into the 905 weekend and Quicksilver really had perfected their build towards the tail end of production. Spotless, faultless, well done to the previous owner who's just cared for her like she was one of the family. The leather, the upholstery, everything is in beautiful condition. Cream white, no nicks, no tears anyway, eh, anywhere, forgive me. We've got a folding table, now that is removable as well on a leg down below. You can also move this seat forward so that you can face out and you can have a navigator seat while you are underway. Got Wallace, diesel central heating, a huge opening sunroof up there is the remote controlled spotlight. Off to the 
starboard side we've got an Alba television with a side loading DVD player. Now, you may see in just a moment, which I'll show you when I go outside onto the bow, that this boat has Intellian satellite television connectivity. So you can get Sky Sports from that, Sky News, Sky TV, Sky Movies, satellite television when you're out in the water. What's better? Go on, tell me. The galley consists of twin gas burners. We've got a hot and cold sink that's molded and recessed in to the unit. Furthermore, below that, we've got a microwave oven and then also a fridge with a freezer compartment. Now you can always tell a lot by the condition of a boat, by the state of the fridge, and that speaks volumes. Lovely. Moving on to the helm. So right next to the helm, we have access out. So you can see we've got a full walk around capability to the starboard side. That leads up onto this gorgeous sunbearing, sunbearing area on the foredeck. So that area there is hinged so you can get out through the emergency escape hatch downstairs if you are in the forward master cabin. And what better place, well, maybe a better place really, to top up your tan and taking the views from up here at the bow of your boat, especially on a day like this. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's space for three up here. Obviously this addition is so that someone can lie there and lean against the windshield. We've got custom fender baskets up on the bow as well. And then underneath here is the winch for the anchor. We've got foot controls there, up and down. It is electric as well, if I haven't mentioned it and you haven't figured. Now look how the satellite television dome and also the pulse radar system. Well, they've been wrapped in black to match the two-tone hull. That's also your AIS aerial. Small touches, but they all add up. Really make this boat absolutely fabulous. Right, okay. Let's go back downstairs. The helm is really, really well appointed. This is where this boat comes into a class of its own. So, we've got a Cobra Marine VHF with GPS. We've got AIS up there. We've also got electric trim tabs down here, a bow thruster. Electric windlass, that remote controlled spotlight I mentioned to you. We've got a Simrad glass dash. That has GPS, chart plotting capabilities. Also, you've got a radar up there, a Pulse 3 radar. Down scan, echo map, everything that you'd need. You've got a transducer fitted to the boat so you can see underneath exactly what's going on below you. That is the fisherman's choice and the boater's choice of navigation equipment. You can see here, 51 hours. Low engine hours coupled with the condition of the boat. Genuinely, why would you buy brand new? When you could take this and with a huge saving off of the list price. And on the port side, the saloon. Now you can configure this in a number of different ways. What I'll do is I'll remove the table. There's a little bit that pops under there and turns it into a U-shaped formation. You can also then move this back, change around this and have a navigator seat. And then you can also drop down a filler cushion, just turn that into another berth. I'll show you all of them. Now you've got twin benches, so you can get two to three on that one, two to three on this. But you now have a navigator, everyone can sit back and enjoy the view while underway. Lovely. You've got a storage cargo net here. There is also storage directly underneath. You've got that on both, don't worry. What we'll do next, we'll move this back into the position. We'll take out the U-shape and we'll show, we'll, sorry, we'll take out that board there and we'll turn this into a U-shape saloon. Now there's plenty of space for everyone to sit and enjoy the television or listen to the music from the onboard fusion stereo system. That is located down here. It's Bluetooth and you've got a speaker selector. So there's six speakers, two in the forward cabin, two here in the saloon, and then another two outside. And what you can do is you can change between outside and inside or both. 
lovely. What we'll do next is we'll put up the side table here and we'll show you what this looks like completely converted into another berth. Now you've got a full sized berth there. What you can do if you don't want to use it to sleep well, you can just use it as a lounging area to watch the television. Plenty of storage underneath here, should you need to take anything with you and store it underneath. Outstanding. What we'll do, we'll get it away and we'll show you the rest of the boat. And back to its original setting. Lovely. Right, next up, we go down three stairs into this corridor area. And directly in front of us, we have the master cabin. Smart little touch from Quicksilver. A sliding door. What that does is means you don't compromise on any space. So it really, really is phenomenal the amount of space they've managed to get in here on a 29 foot boat. What we've got off to the port side is hanging locker storage. And Quicksilver have paid attention to detail. You can see there how the grain marries up, lines up and is linear between the panels. A real, real nice touch. Now looking forward, we've got these angular hull side windows. We've also got a huge escape hatch on the front, which really lets lots of natural light come in. These lights are on independent rocker switchers. You can also turn them all off from here. Now this is a memory foam mattress. Very, very soft, so it is, believe it or not, it has never been slept on. It's not the original. Do I have the original? Yes, we certainly do. It's currently stored in the aft cabin. But this is so much better, so much thicker, so much more comfortable than the original. It's an active cool ship shaped bedding set designed to keep you cool at night on those warm summer evenings. Now you can sit here and simply watch Sky Television, Satellite Television from bed. Fusion stereo system to the speakers there and then this huge skylight which lets natural light pour in here there is of course so don't worry a cover that goes across the top underneath the bed storage in the lockers there you can see that is part of the owner's manual we've got another one there also if we lift the bed up we've got storage that i'm currently using to keep the cushions for the saloon conversion Next up is the heads. So this is an electric quiet flush sea toilet. There is a waste tank and also a macerator fitted onto the boat. There you go there. You can see the button to flush. You can simply pull this out. A hot and cold tap that sits up there. There is a curtain that goes across the rail here and you can turn this into a wet heads should you want to. Storage underneath here. And then loads in this recessed shelf just here as well. Lovely. So yes, this cabin isn't the master, but don't get me wrong, there is a huge abundance of space. So let's start here. Now we've got storage in a locker there. We've got hull side windows. There's a 12 volt socket here. And one thing I want to show you is how the hull or the fiberglass mould is stepped. There's a skylight, lets plenty of natural light pour in here, but also that's an excellent place to get changed if you've got two different families on board and you want your own privacy. Space is absolutely phenomenal. It's a full king size bed, so up at the top, what we've got is a 240 volt socket. There's recessed storage in behind both of these lockers. Up the back there, you've just got access to your bits and bobs, such as the diesel heating unit runs through the back there. But what I do like about this is it's very simple. You just pull that out and it forms this into a twin room. Again, I can tell that this has hardly been used, if ever. Spotless condition, no tears, no stains on any of the upholstery. Fantastic. Just before we go, the seat or the helm seat here, you've got the option to bring down a step. 
So if you are navigating or you're trying to peer out to see where you are berthing wise, well, that just gives you a little bit of height, improves your vantage point. The bolster flips down, the seat also rotates and swivels. Right. Let's finish off with the engine. It's underneath there. So it's powered by a Mercury 260 horsepower V6 turbo diesel engine. Only 51 hours run on her. Plenty of space down there in the engine room as well for storage. You've got your house battery and your starter motor one there. Bilges are really, really dry. That's just what you want to see. And this is one of three. There's a second one, thermostatically controlled engine bay heaters for when the winter comes. I really, really hope that that is a long, long time away. So the thing that really grasps me on this boat is the newness of it. Yes, it's been pre-owned, but it, what makes this one unique? Well, there's a number of features. Let me jump outside and I'll show you. To start off, the most noticeable one is that fabulous two-tone hull wrap. Galaxy Black. We've also got the custom fenders, Paw Patrol, to match the name of the ship. Up top, we've got an Intellian Track Vision satellite with two free sat boxes. You've got one connected in there and then one connected downstairs to the forward cabin television. You've also got a Raymarine Pulse 3 radar. AIS fit into the ship. We have that airwave mattress downstairs in the forward master cabin. But the one thing, the one thing that really sets this boat apart from any other Quicksilver 855 that's available on the market. And just a quick spoiler, there isn't one. But what does set this apart from any one that I've ever seen is the fact that it's just in such immaculate tip-top condition. Don't believe me though, come down and see it for yourself. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.